Olá, eu sou César Benzoni da São Paulo Bluegrass Music Association. Eu estou aqui em Owensboro, Kentucky, para mostrar para vocês um pouco mais do Romp Fest. O Romp é um festival de bluegrass que acontece todo mês de junho e tem bandas quase 24 horas por dia, workshops e muito mais. E a gente vai dar uma olhada agora. Vamos lá! Bluegrass musicians like me, we wait all year for these summer festivals, and um, they're the thing we look forward to the most. They're the chance when we get to sort of finally coalesce, get together with all of our friends and all the fans of Bluegrass, really just hear all the different bands that are doing cool stuff and uh, get to hang out, jam together informally, sort of show people what we've been working on, play, perform on stage. It's important that we have these kind of festivals because this gives everybody an opportunity to listen to not only great music but a lot of different types of music. The music is a really essential part of our lives around here and it gives us a chance to get away from our everyday lives. It gives us a chance to get away from our jobs and our careers. And you listen to music and you're able to feel something. And I think that's kind of the purpose of bluegrass music, and it's a good wholesome music. It's something you can do on a stage or right out here in the shade tree, and it has the same effect, and it makes you feel the same way. together in a, a celebration of uh, music and dance. And, um, when people are experiencing music, um, they often feel good. They often uh, want to respond and react in some way to the music. And this is where the dance come in. And I teach the dance and I teach a form of dance uh, where I learned from is called flat footing. And uh, I like to define flat footing as a, a natural expression, a natural response to uh, one's um, listening to music. It's a way of translating your happy thoughts and happy feelings through the rest of your body and down to your feet. fantastic festival. It's great. All bluegrass music and it, it's such an accepting environment. We just, you see someone playing and you go over there and people join in and everyone just like comes together with the bluegrass music. It's awesome that the International Bluegrass Museum can put on such a wonderful event and it's great for us. Man, this is uh, definitely a big deal out here. Um, it's a big deal like for myself because I have grandparents and like family that all grew up around here and uh, I was born and raised in Kentucky and so even if you're not like a huge bluegrass fan, if you're born and raised in Kentucky you're like a fan by association because it's just such a big part of our culture and our history.
Bluegrass needs to spread elsewhere. It's a growing genre of music and it's got a ways to go. It's come a long way in the last few years, but it's, it's still expanding and it's important to expand it to countries like Brazil and elsewhere to bring as much music as possible, but especially bluegrass. All right, Brazilian people, you've got to support bluegrass. you got to get on the bus. I want everyone from Brazil to come here. Thank you so much.